Welcome, Tristan. Richard White, head teacher of the Alan White Studio School. So, uh, brand new, a brand new concept in terms of the Isle of Wight. I say yeah. brand new, we've been open two years, this is our third year. Uh, we've taken over this fantastic site yeah. here at East Cows, uh, but we have students coming from all the, uh, across the island, and in fact from Southampton as well. 14 to 19 is the age range, uh, 300 is the most that we'll ever have, yeah. so we really do get to know the, the young people. Yeah. Um, the idea of the, 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 the school is that it provides opportunity for young people to find out about their skill set, have some business experience, uh, develop their uh, characters and characteristics for employability, yeah. uh, as well as doing the rigour of academic in readiness to, to support them to, to open the barriers to life, I guess. Yeah. Uh, some will go into uni, university, yeah. some will go into apprenticeships. And I'm sure uh, some of them will start businesses probably while they're here. They, and they I, know, I know I started my first one at 12. And they so. have done already. They yeah. have done, there's a few that have done that already. So if I give you a tour around, you yeah. get a flavour. So it's 1909 was the original building, yeah. but we've, we've redesigned it. Uh, and it's got a kind of office and business feel about it. Yeah. It really is a business, um, you know, a finishing school, if you like. Yeah. Uh, and because all the students do go out for work placements on a regular basis, I'll tell you more about that. Fantastic. So um, we've, we've got a, a radio station uh, that we've put in place. Students have been trained up for this. We've got 35 students yeah. and a couple of members of staff. The idea is that the, the the students have to train the staff how to, to use it. That's so, brilliant, because I guess with technology and stuff, the kids are quite quick to learn with that, and then of course it gives you a longer period to kind of go through and learn with them. I, I think the days, especially around <laughs> technology, of, of us, you know, yeah. as older people knowing everything is, you know, yeah. that we're way behind. Well, I'm, so. I'm, a, I'm a big believer that like you're, you're constantly learning anyway. Like one of the things I do online is you yeah. never stop learning, yeah. and actually I work with the philosophy of. 360 learning, so I guess some people are older and people who are younger. Yeah. I mean, mum, <laughs> mum's actually been taught stuff about like Pokemon Go and the latest apps by kids in the street, so yeah, 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 it's, yeah. it's been good. So, yeah. yeah. So, this is a great bit of kit. Um, we use it, you know, it builds up confidence, yeah. uh, it's great fun as well, making jingles. But in terms of social media, which you know a fair bit about, yeah. uh, you know this this is a great introduction to you know a, a section of media yeah. and, and how we can best use it for for marketing and promotion. Quite lucky to have access to the kit. I mean, what's the what's the way that it gets used? Is it that it's they get there? Is there a specific time that they can come and use it, or is it that they? We, we use it as part of the speaking and listening program yeah. for for the English GCSE and the uh, the uh, link. Uh, uh, lit language yeah. uh, A level yeah. um, that we do. We also use it for the French and French conversation. Yeah. But uh, students use it because you know they're, they're, they're working out how it works, yeah. and, and which is great. So they use it for fun. It's, we can stream it across all the uh, the interactive whiteboards, so we can send yeah. general messages out. Uh, yeah. And some of it's just fun. You know, yeah. you're allowed to have fun at school. Yeah. It's okay. It's cool to do that. Cool. Um, we got. I mean, we've got a range of things that I can, you know. That, it's a, it, it just gives you a flavour of the sorts of things that we do, but you know, we, we've got students that have been out in work placement at the chocolate factory, electrical uh, shops, the alpaca centre, uh, West White Leisure Centre, UKSA, all the, many of the primary schools across the island, uh, precision tooling companies, GKN, BAE systems, so all manner of places we've got around who's, who's uh, got, been offered um, an extended work placement at Rolls Royce. So there are, there are a number of places that we, we use, and students from the age of 14 do at least one day a week, uh, 15, 16 into sixth form, having real experiences. And because it's not just a superficial experience, they become, they become part of the furniture. I suppose it's also that they might be in a, in a real placement, they see that things don't always necessarily go right as well, because in, in a controlled environment, obviously everything's much easier. Um, this one excites me. As a, as a qualified chef, I see a lot of food here, a bake-off. <laughs> well, don't we, actually, students do get an opportunity to do a photo of cooking yeah. and baking as part of our enrichment programme. And, and, and we you know, do cooking for what? Yeah. Now, one of those great life skills life, that, yeah. that, that many organisations forget, actually. <laughs> but this, this was all part of the fun of it. We had a bake-off. We had a student bake-off and a staff bake-off. I got the wooden spoon last year and managed to, to win this year with a Jamie Orbison. <laughs> Can I advertise? Yes, <laughs> you've been practicing. Yeah. But, you know, 
to me along with the marketing director of the yeah. company and the general manager uh, about a, a renewables company within, within sol solar renewables yeah. and they but they created not a shadow company but a secondary company to promote uh, green energy and green and through green education and uh, the presentation was top draw and uh, I, I, I sat on my own and the five of them presented to me. So it wasn't a, a project as such. It was these guys at a tender age of 15 at the time, I think, doing, doing the presentation about you know the corporate, the business plan, uh, and, and the, the corporate look and the website design that they created for the business. Yeah, I think we, bought, we did buy a website. Fantastic. Yeah. We had, we didn't have so was that all students just they it was all students that one? We were on our own, yeah. Oh, this was the team of three. And, and you, were, you were involved very much on the uh, going out there and the and the yeah. fitting and the, the yeah, applications. Yeah, I quite a bit as well to learn about it. Yeah. Uh, Chloe was involved in, in the business yeah, uh, model and, 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 and then and then he was involved in the web design. Wasn't yeah, he? yeah, he was the main web design. Yeah. So you know, it was it was you know ser serious stuff, uh, and you realised then the significance of it, especially when Josh, the the, the managing director, turned around and said. You know, the, 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 I was offered an um, internship there. Yeah. I wanted to do something for them, so yeah. I decided that that would be the best route for me for university and things like that. It left the door open yeah, though, yeah, for the, door. the possibility for another chance. Fantastic. Sorry to interrupt you, I know you're probably going somewhere else, but I'll leave you to it. Uh, so, in, in here, um, this is one of our design technology rooms. This has got, we've got uh, a, a, a router, we've got a laser cutter, and we've got a 3D printer. And we went, we went for the, we went for the uh, 9,000 uh, pound 3D printer rather than nine 1,000 pound one. So it's industry fit, 
and we're using this kit uh, on, on a regular basis for enrichment. A lot of it is about you know, try and test and see yeah. if this is something that interests you or excites you. Yeah. Um, but you'll also see lots of phrasing around because, you know, again, employability skills are, are, uh, are important aspects of this. These, these are, these, this is students' work. This isn't something that we've stuck up. So, if, if, uh, I don't think there's any spoilers there. <laughs> Here's a good exa example of, some, of one of the businesses, actually. So, a group, of, a group of students got together and decided to make a business. And then as an enterprise exercise, they came up with these quirky phrases uh, on these mugs. So, they priced the mugs, looked at production, um, got, the, got the things printed, and, and then put, put a, a, a bid yeah. together and presented to a group who then gave them a thousand pounds as a start-up business. Yeah. So they've been, they've been, they've been running that, so it's, it's great. It's great. So it's, it's exciting for me, having started the, you know, in business at 12, to see you know, people doing it you know, and getting those opportunities. It's fantastic. Yeah, he started a sweet shop. Oh, okay. Uh, you mentioned that. You mentioned that. <laughs> Nothing but five pounds in the school yeah. locker. We've got, we, we, so we've got another couple of rooms, we, we won't go into that, that's still the remnants of the cardboard boat race uh, uh, prototypes that some of them didn't, didn't set sail, uh, so we were, I think we were the only school out there, um, and we, they did ever so well, we've got some incredible guys, particularly Morgan and Oscar, who came in about six or seven days during the school holidays. I should have been there, I missed yeah. it. There the the are thousands time. of people yeah. watching, and uh, they created this great catamaran that, that's the, that they, they paddled along. Fantastic. The bit we missed was to give them a real education in how to paddle. <laughs> 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 next time. <laughs> yeah. Lessons learned. So in terms of, so it, it, and we've got another room, so we, we working with plastics, working with, with metals, working um, with wood uh, is a key part. So TIG and MIG welders, a furnace, uh, precision tooling equipment are, are all part of it, drills, cutting, uh, cutting equipment. Uh, our, our new design technology teacher is, is ready to war and inspire other groups. So far, we've used the college a great deal, so some of this is under underused equipment in there. Um, so we're moving into, you know, this is some of the oldest bits of, of uh, the building, but we've given it this facelift, and we've cut these massive sections out of the of the walls of the building to give the, the rooms a nice, uh, light, airy feel. Uh, the, the workroom for the staff is right in the centre of, of the school, so in terms of passive supervision, it's an ideal space. Um, we very much give responsibility to students about their behaviour. You'll see that the floor is quite clean. Yes, we've had the cleaners in, but if students drop, you know, a packet of crisps or a, a biscuits, they're, they're often asking for the, the keys for the, the Henry because they'll come and clean it up. So, that, you know, we're, we're developing a culture of, of understanding about responsibility, which I think is a critical part of what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we still have student voice, we've got student council, the, the students have a, a real say in what we do and how we work, so they, um, you know, if, if we're making decisions about staff, they still have a say in that, they're part of the process, so, so for, for recruitment. Um, but they, they also you know, have ideas about what they want to do and, and make it happen. So whether it's running the football team or the rugby team or going to, to Gunwell for the day or having a tour around Southampton uh, Football Stadium or going to the boat show, uh, they, they organise that. Most recently we've been to in-flight peripherals, we've been to Vicoma, we've been over to uh, Parlex and we've had tours around those facilities. Um, and that's a great opportunity to really see what business is about. Most of that has been stimulated by students' interests. They've got an interest in high-tech uh, business, what's on the island, and want to see what's going on. So, yeah. uh, important stuff. That's good. So, so, we call this our breakout area. Yeah. So, we've got a number of sixth formers that are in the, at the start of the day. The rest, okay. yeah, the rest of the students are... Um, out and about, the, a lot of them are at uh, the college today, actually, are looking at the vocational courses. All students in the school do Duke of Edinburgh. It's not an optional activity. We, we, I, I consider it as a sort of international badge yeah, of character um, and, and character development. And the skills around leadership and teamwork and, and you know, 
being in, in the face of challenge when you've been walking for seven and a half, eight hours and you've got to then put your tent up and cook your tea. But there's other bits as well, like the, the voluntary work. So all students will have a, an involvement in working with charities, um, as well as work, learning a new skill. And those skills vary massively from learning to cook and uh, take photos through to, um, to, to you know to organising seven aside football tournaments or uh, learning how to win so. It's great because I guess a lot of the skills like the photography and cooking all that they're bringing back in as well. Is it showing other people? That's it. Yeah, and, and these you know these are different things from you know what what traditionally is your PE curriculum. So. Yeah. Uh, it, it lifts it off the page. Yeah. We, I, just, I just noticed we, we've got a whole raft of letters back from Queensgate Primary School. They came over and, and, and had been doing the year sixes. We're doing some practical science courses, so they're learning how to use Bunsen burners for the first time. So uh, they, they left some lovely little messages for us. They were out on the fields with their squares, correcting the bugs from you know, set areas and looking at, them. looking at them under a microscope. Yeah. And and so that was, you know, again, it's about awe and inspire. Yeah. Um, and and at primary school, you don't often have uh, you know specialists in science. So being able to work with our local schools is important. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got a group that are writing the CVs and, and planning where the next steps are. Yeah. You right there, Jane? Thank you. <laughs> Uh, we've got an IT suite, an IT hub that is available for the, for the use. All, all the students in sixth form have iPads and, and understand how to use iPads yeah. properly, not as a toy, but as a, as a proper facility. So we've got a couple of maths rooms down here, and the sixth form is a, look like they're making cakes, nice. which nice. is good. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> Morgan, what are you doing? You're doing cakes. Well, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to talk to you? We've got to ask to make a product with a purpose. We're selling cakes. You must, that sounds like it has a purpose. purpose. You yeah. must have yeah. known it was my birthday yeah. yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fantastic. Okay, so product with a purpose. And uh, any theme going with this? Checkered cake. Checkered cake, why not? Why not? Absolutely. Yeah? Okay, I'll leave Thank you to you. it. I'll leave you to it. That sounds great. Um, so we've just oh, we've got a, a science lab, or we'll just we'll just poke our heads in here. Uh, I've got a fantastic deputy, a yeah. guy called uh, Stuart Dudgeon, who is into his Angry Birds and his superheroes. It makes it real, doesn't it? It makes it in some non-real kind of way. It makes it real, but it's you know it's. It really is a, uh, a, an exciting place, uh, you know, alongside, I mean, our strap, li our strap line is around marine engineering, yeah. marine manufacturing and renewables, yeah. but the reality is a, a lot of students have come along that are interested in uh, health and social care, interested in IT and, and new technologies, yeah. who are interested, you know, interested in, um, in primary school teaching, yeah. uh, asset management, you know, mm. PR, all manner of things. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but they've, they've arrived with a can-do spirit, and regardless of where they sit academically, providing, you know, they, we're not able to provide too much support for them, uh, but providing that they are able to access the curriculum, then regardless of where they sit, so we've got A-star level students through to those that will get a, a lower grade in GCSEs, yeah. but they come all with a, an attitude, we can do this, yeah. and they're up for it, which is fantastic. And when I meet with them, the question I always ask is, um, so what is it that you're going to bring to the studio school that will make the studio school a better place mm -hmm. because you're here? So, you know, quite powerful stuff. And, and uh, we talk about pilots yeah. and not passengers yeah. and students being pilots of their own destiny rather than, uh, yeah. than the passengers that sit back there yeah. next to the drink yeah. trolley yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. on, their, on their flight path of life. So, so this is a busy area and you can see even within the first few days, uh, it's, it's it's had some use already. Um, so we'll go next door. And we've got one more science room to, to visit. So um, we're, we're still a state school. We're still a state school, so we will be... Um, will be judged as a state school by Ofsted, yeah. and therefore, uh, you know, and as an outstanding school, what we want to do is demonstrate uh, that we are absolutely running when students arrive, yeah. 
Uh, we, uh, right from the beginning, we do a thing called GL assessments. So it's an IQ test for, for, for key stage four students. You know, we have to bear in mind that they're at the start of their year 10, so, and, and we're catching up with where they've been before. Yeah. So we do lots of, uh, lots of testing. They do GCSE papers when they first arrive too. So the, the rigour of academic is full on for the time that they're in school. Yeah. Uh, and, and just behind you there, you, you, we've, from the tests that we've done, from the early papers, we get an indication of where their strengths are and yeah. where their areas that we need to really focus on, which helps us you know, formulate our, our teaching plans. Yeah. Did, um, you, did you say earlier that it was, it's not a five day week? In, in the school? Yeah, so, so students are in for three days of academic study. Yeah. Once, uh, for, the, for the incoming year 10s, they, they spend the first half term doing business readiness for yeah. one day. But after half term, they are out and do one day a week from November all the way through to July. And so they're going out and, and are involved in this business environment. So nothing superficial about it. You know, we, we go past that honeymoon <laughs> period and they're doing the real job. And the, the benefit to business is that it's a mutual benefit. Yeah. They get an extra worker, um, they're, they're a volunteer in their workforce, and from a student's point of view, my word, they grow in terms of confidence. There are plenty of placements around. We, we've, got, we've got over 200, probably 250 businesses that have, have been involved. All different industries? Across the board. Yeah. So I was saying at Tristan earlier, you know, places like the Alpaca Centre, yeah. through to GKN, yeah. through to the primary schools, through to, to PR companies. I suppose um, for the businesses, they also think like being a bit younger, you come with a lot of ideas as mm, well, mm. And, and obviously, it's <coughs> more, the more ideas you can yes, get, the better some business. <coughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, wonderful. I mean, but, yeah, Rapa Nui had five students, yeah. but they were all doing different things within the organisation. Yeah. UKSA, one was working alongside the chef, yeah. one was doing blogs for yeah. their, and part of their marketing team, and one was on the waterfront doing it, working with uh, the young people that came in uh, yeah. and, and helping out on, with maintenance of boats. Yeah. So, you know, this, this is still a bit, and it is about personalising the experience. Yeah. It isn't necessarily about finding them a work placement that is, is exactly what they want to do in the rest of their life. Yeah. Chances to try some as well. well try, try different things. But, but yeah, find out about themselves, you know, about their confidence and about how they can work with others and about, you know, whether they uh, are, <coughs> are, are someone who is a really, you know, a, a fine tuner uh, or a problem solver and a creative type, you know, yeah. whatever the skill set. So that they can then look at industry and look at different sectors of industry yeah. that those skills then marry up with. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so... We're in a great setting. We've got a, a, we use we are able to use Jubilee Park. Uh, we do have a number of students that come over from Southampton yeah. and, and get the get the boats. Must, must be doing something right then. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. And who's this in the corner? <laughs> yes, he, he's been there for some time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he came with the building. He's mesmerised. <laughs> yes. He's heard my talk before. <laughs> Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, 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 and, and it's locked down at that yeah. time. Yeah. Uh, and it's locked down in the morning. Mm. Uh, giving students the responsibility, they, you know, the, the young people, they appreciate yeah. they value it more. Yeah. Things like ski trips. We've, we've been on, on a couple of ski trips. Uh, I mentioned jumping off the rocks. This is Anna with a, with a GoPro just before she leapt, mm -hmm. took that leap of faith. Once they've done these sorts of things, once they've met these challenges, picking the phone up easy. to phone <laughs> up a business, to phone up Matt and say, you know, is, is there a possibility of a work placement with you? Yeah. You know, that, that, that is that leap of faith. That is that jump. Yeah. And we talk a lot about that once you've overcome that. And then when, once you're facing that mass paper and you've got, you know, you, you, you've built your confidence up to a point where you know that you can do this, you've done it before, 
it means that uh, you grow as a, a young person. Uh, I've got something on the wall there which, which is associated with all studio skills. Um, our framework, as tatty as it is, is around this, this thing called CREATE. So uh, the CREATE stands for communication, relationship with others, enterprise, applied learning, so how you apply your skills in a learning environment, thinking, so problem solving, and emotional intelligence, you know, how people see you, how you react to them, you know, whether that's body language, nonverbal communication. And, and we, you know, we breed this into the students so that they, it's a, it's a massive course that they uh, accept each other, um, they have um, a sense of their place and, and they recognise that the difference between what their interests are and what other people's are is okay. They, you know, we don't have to segregate people as a consequence. Are we okay in there? Yes. All right. Oh, hello. You okay? <laughs> So we're just, um, I'm just going to, I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions. Yeah, yes. Very quickly. What are you looking at doing in the future? You, you thought about, you thought about going into the forces. Yeah. Still a possibility. You've got an interest in medical, medical care. Is that something that? Okay. Right. We. Uh, it's still, it's still very early in the morning for Alex <laughs> and other people as they're sitting here. What did you say you are thinking of doing? Probably science Yeah, and we're exploring that at the moment. Mm -hmm. Down at the back, you've been working at Red Funnel, haven't you? Yeah. We, you, you proudly told me you were one of the first people on the, on the, in, the, in the pilot's chair yeah. on the new Osprey, weren't you? Yeah, you, Yes, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Jack, were you at Rapa Nui? Yeah. What did they have you doing at Rapa Nui? What were you involved in? I was involved with the IT for a bit, and then I was involved with the main printing for the company, such as Innocence Movies, which one of them which I became across, and the charity. Did you get involved in any of the logistics stuff as well? You know, about organising the things on the shop floor? Or was that, were that some of the other students that were down there? Yeah, we were shown how, to, how they send out the orders, how the orders come through, yeah. and the whole the warehouse. And it's just one great system. How the logistics are done it. Yeah. Fantastic. Right, I'll leave you to it. I can see you're deeply involved in doing your work. Sorry to bother you. <laughs> right. Uh, so we've got uh, we've got another area here. Patrick's getting on with his CV. Are you getting on with your CV, all right? Yeah. Patrick's one of our superstar musicians. Not sure what he wants to do at the moment. Uh, we're, we're looking at a, a variety of other options, but a uh, phenomenal guitar player and was heavily involved in the enrichment group with Platform One, weren't you? Yeah. Um, and worked at. Uh, do you work at an uh, you worked at the music shop, didn't you? Yeah, good. They're all very, it's all very early in the morning. Yes. That's, that's, that's Perhaps the, the coffee hasn't kicked <laughs> in. Yeah. The coffee hasn't kicked I'll in. I'll get you a coffee in a minute, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> so, and that, you know, that's it. We're, we're you know, a tiny organisation, uh, but, you know, small is beautiful. And, yeah. and it means that we know everyone, yeah. uh, you know, as you can see. Yeah. And you know the stories and you know, the, you know what their aspirations are and, and the, the interests. And... Uh, and that's exciting. As a yeah. teacher, that's exciting. You can't do that if you've got 1,200 students in your school. Mm -hmm. uh, as much as you want to, because yeah. you just simply can't give that sort of energy. Yeah. I mean, obviously you're doing a lot of work with businesses, and obviously from the Chamber Breakfast this morning here, which is really good for the hosting. Um, you're obviously looking at businesses kind of getting involved, because obviously you're training people into businesses. And if anyone was kind of watching the video back and was interested in getting Involved, and what's the yeah. uh, pl please have a look at our website and um, have a look at and, and, or give us a call. Uh, we have students that are in year 10, we'll be going out on a Wednesday for a, a full day work placement, and year 11 on a, on a sorry, on Wednesday, Wednesday is um, the year 11s, Tuesday is the year 10s, and Thursday, which is in the year 12s, uh, go, out on, uh, go out to work placement. For, for the day, yeah. and they go out for, for the best part of the year. Uh, the involvement that we've had with businesses, businesses have come along and, and told their story, because 
you know, some of them, have, uh, some, some folk have found, as, as many of my friends have, found their way in life by chance. And what we're trying to do is, is overcome that, is beat that, and give them, give students a heads up and give them that experience in advance. So we're even telling the story about, you know, how, how their journey has unfolded, uh, what the expectations are and what the, you know, what, what the criteria for, for getting involved in particular jobs uh, is, is something else that businesses have been very, very good at sharing. And bringing along, not necessarily the managing director, but, you know, the, the apprentice has just started. That's incredibly powerful. So telling us for this similar situation. When you close that gap down and you bring someone that's just you know a few years out of university or uh, is even you know at the sixth form age but starts an apprenticeship, um, that that's a far more powerful often than you know someone in their fifties who's who's telling that you know what happened you know before the ark uh, was launched. <laughs> but the, the you know other, other businesses have set us challenges and said. Yeah, we've got a real headache here. We're trying to overcome this. We do a lot of project-based learning. We do a lot of getting groups together, with them understanding their own skills within that group, and then solving problems. So make, giving real problems is something that we look for. Um, so that's the sort of thing that we'd be excited and interested in doing. Um, and, and taking on, on proper work. And uh, so, so for the El Figaro event that happened, the single-handed race, that happened in South uh, in um, in Cowes over the summer. We had a team of about 12 students yeah. who did the market research and uh, were, were in the uh, OC sports kit and walked around and interviewed uh, interviewed people, offered them direction and information about the events. Um, and and that you know again, it's a mutual benefit. Young people came back going, that's fantastic. I've done an internship now yeah. for, for the time that I've been with them, and I've done a real job. So, um, so you know, exercises like that, activities where a labour force is needed, you know, within reason, yeah. it, it's sensible to do. You know, our job is to make sure that the students are safe, that it's uh, worthwhile, it's progressive, um, and in the main, the, the, the businesses on the island have just been fantastic, and have, what, have, have really enjoyed the young people coming in and being part of their business. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's exciting. That's really, exciting. really interesting because obviously it's not the traditional how a school runs and works and things. Um, what's like a, what's a, a day, because if you say they do three days a week in, in school or yeah. on the premises, what's, what does that day look like? How's, how's that split up? Well, it's, you know, it's, it's no sort of grindstone, to be honest. Um, you know, students arrive by 8.30, they finish the day at 4.15, 4 4.20. Um, they will do their English lit, English language. They do a double maths. They do double or triple science. Business studies is part of the core programme. And then they have options between things like geography, history, uh, French conversation and, and French business. Uh, and then um, an IT course, which is uh, uh, very much around you know, social media and the use of uh, and, and graphic design and, and, and marketing. Yeah. So, uh, so there's so still that kind of core. They're, they're still, a core, yeah. So they're, they're coming out with yeah. nine, ten, eleven GCSEs. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's three days a week. Uh, we we have a create session, as we said that you know. So we use that alongside a PSHE session. So we cover you know the real, the really important stuff around you know anti-bullying, uh, anti-social behaviour, volunteering, uh, how to live on you know. Survivors of a, as a single person in this world, yeah. you know, uh, rights and responsibilities. Those sorts of things are included in the program. Um, and then we have uh, enrichment for half a day, where we go off across the island and do a whole multitude of things and, and base ourselves on site. Uh, and then they have uh, this one day uh, where they are out and out in work placements, and we go out and visit them and work with the businesses. And then half a day, they're doing the vocational course. Yeah. So, uh, so at the moment, the rest of the school are at the Arnold College, and they're looking at engineering, health and social care. Uh, they've looked at travel and tourism and uh, digital media. So those are the sorts of things. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming out on the tour. Uh, I really, really appreciate you, 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 you coming over and seeing us. Uh, and, and please, you know, let other people know what we're doing. Uh, we're not in competition with the other secondary schools. The other secondary schools 
uh, work very closely with us. Our part in uh, and my part within the education community is to is to voice what we want across the secondary schools for our young people and, and, and work to try and make that happen and augment that with the businesses. So, uh, you know, passing information on, using the chamber as a central part of that, uh, but working with other uh, uh, groups as well, the technology group, the marine group, as well to, you know, to, to help harness uh, and guide businesses, but also education, so, you know, we can, we can uh, generate the next generation of, of employers and yeah. employees. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you very much. Cheers.